uh, recording this for a Columbia record tonight, and the uh, record company said, why don't you write a typical memo, uh, an, an honest one of the kind you actually get back from a, from a network when they want to censor your show. And so I've done that. And in order to show you how they censor, pretend with me that we have submitted uh, a script to them based on a classic. In fact, let's, let's choose the uh, best-selling book of all time. Here is exactly the kind of memo we'd get back. Gentlemen, reference your script, the Bible. We are concerned with the story's preoccupation with violence, sex, nudity, and other television code violations. We are particularly concerned over your story protagonist, God, <laughs> who seems to us completely unmotivated and rather bloodthirsty. Also, this principal character, as presently written, seems to us highly prejudiced in the favor of a single tribe. We remind you that the television code requires equal treatment of blacks, Asians, Chicanos, American Indians, and other minority groups. <laughs> exactly as it would come, I, so help me. We are equally concerned with the characterization of the principal character's son who is portrayed in wildly inflammatory revolutionary conduct, which appears to ridicule wealth, banking and loan advertisers, and the American way of life. <laughs> His attitudes must be clearly labeled to impressionable young television viewers as reprehensible. Specifically, and they always have a list of, of, of things that you've got to change. Please delete references to God making woman out of Adam's rib. This network is an equal opportunities employer with commitments to female equality. <laughs> Opening sequences are too suggestive. Delete language and both were naked. Their subsequent apron of fig leaves will not be a suitable garment in the case of the female. Also, the tempting of the female by the serpent seems to have sexual connotations. <laughs> Recommend serpent be substituted with frog or badger. <laughs> Caution in excessive violence throughout, particularly the case of God drowning over 99% of mankind. Also, we must question the story logic of having an all-knowing, all-powerful central character who creates faulty humans and then blames them for his own mistakes. <laughs> in, in order to make this character more sympathetic, please delete his exhibitions of wrath and also any indications of a personality insecurity, such as his constant demands for praise. Sons and daughters of Noah cannot be shown and described as repopulating Earth as television code forbids ancestral relationships. <laughs> Recommend a fleet of arcs. <laughs> or, or, or perhaps strong swimmers from other families can be saved. <laughs> Delete continual references to virgins such description of the character Mary is acceptable as a story point, but only if it is clearly indicated that her relationship with main character is totally platonic. Otherwise, a marriage ceremony must be indicated. <laughs> Specifics in the portrayal of their son, he cannot be shown as practicing medicine without a license. <laughs> Delete his biased political views, such as peace at all costs his mocking of established courts and judicial systems, and his ridiculing of normal attitudes toward capitalism, profit, and the laying up of treasures. <laughs> All of this is further aggravated by your description of the character. Must he be shown as bearded and barefoot? <laughs> In summary, a rather extensive rewrite seems indicated. It is suggested that the writers be constantly guided by the question, is this suitable for family hour viewing? Thank you.